because, you know, you're a very successful stand-up and you're working at a certain level, you think every gig will work, but you still have more difficult gigs. Where, where was the Charles and Camilla one? Was that at Buckingham Palace? Uh, it was at Kensington Palace, and it was this weird um, gig that they do once a year for all the staff of Kensington Palace. And I know some other people that have done this, this show, and they have a magician one year, a, a musician, a comedian. And I went and I did this, this show at Kensington Palace, and it was the staff. And then Charles and Camilla in the front row literally sat in thrones. <laughs> I mean, it was like <laughs> the closest it could be to being the court jester. <laughs> On stage, and it was it was horrendous. I died so, and I was trying to like. I remember Prince Harry was out in um, Afghanistan at the time, so I was like, uh, you know, I, th I was like, um, I just want to say, you know, Prince Harry out in Afghanistan. That's that's so brave of him. Uh, a ginger in that heat. Woo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you laughed because on the night that went, went down like a dead corgi. <laughs> It was the worst death I've ever had. And then afterwards, the one little um, bone that he threw me is I met Charles afterwards, and he just said, you were a lot better than the contortionist that we had last year. <laughs> but, and, th and then, uh, amazing, to think of the year before where Charles and Camilla were sat there in their thrones as a guy climbed through a tennis racket. <laughs> hey, don't diss contortionists. I don't. Because your, your, your wife, is she a contortionist? My <gasps> dear wife is, yes, she was in the Olympics. <laughs> My, about my wife? You're excited about my wife? No, that's the cool thing. Yeah, yeah she's, a, she's a contortionist. And she was, anybody want a, a, a lozenge? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'll, I'll Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, thank you. you. Uh, she's, a, she was in the uh, Olympics. You're not getting one now. After the contortionist thing. <laughs> She, she, was, she was a rhythmic gymnast, and she was in the Olympics in, uh, in Sydney in 2000 for Canada. Oh, I there remember. she is. There she is. Yes. That's my darling. Emily, and oh, then wow. she expanded her uh, training to include um, Cirque du Soleil, kind of aerial things, and she does, in fact, last year she doubled Emma Stone in La La Land, all that uh, aerial dancing outside the scene in the, uh, the planetarium, you know, that's her, uh, d you know, uh, oh, dancing wow. and twisting. Yeah. Well, yeah. But can she do a contortion? Like, can you, if you go on holidays, could she get in a suitcase, that kind of thing? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, she was a magician's assistant. Oh, what? yes, and she, so she you packed herself away in a box. That's right, she did that, and she's quite quite bendy. And our first, we met at the gymnasium, and I saw I, I started a conversation. I saw her doing uh, uh, wonderful things, and I invited her. <laughs> and I invited her to this gig. I played jazz piano, and um, there we were. Oh, her name is Emily. I think I, 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 if you're watching Gregory Porter, I'll bet you know this uh, old standard called Emily. I sang to her, Emily, Emily, as the murmuring sound of May. And, da, da, da. and I said, hey, Emily, you want to come up and do contortion on our piano? We had a grand piano. She said, yeah. She came up. I said, what do we play, guys? What do we play? They said, oh, that for Fabulous Baker Boys. Remember when uh, Michelle Fiverr does uh, To Make and Whoopie? But so go go gay. And she got up and she did this amazing, routine. That was the two days after we met. Wow. We're still very much in love. Six years. Now we have two children. One two oh. and a half and one six month old. Wow. Two boys, yeah. How long ago was this? Six years we met. Six years we ago. Met. Six years ago. Oh.